AMD just finished their AI event and later today I will be doing more of a deep dive. Here are my raw thoughts. And we got a lot of the questions we were looking for. So we got kind of that new AI client, um, which was, I, I'm going to guess XAI, but obviously uh, I, I don't consider OpenAI a new client. Yeah. Uh, OpenAI though, showcasing here the demand. I, I, I do believe the MI400 is going to be very juicy. Uh, for AMD. I also believe the MI350 is going to be very good for the overall company's revenue. I do wish that maybe they were a little bit ahead in time. Like if the if somehow they could have moved away from the MI325 and maybe released the MI350 like uh, even a quarter ahead, I think it would be extremely bullish. Um, let me just also say, I don't think as a NVIDIA investor, I would be worried at the moment. Nothing to worry about. I think this market is growing so quickly that both these players can win dramatically. I think NVIDIA is going to continue to win market share, but AMD is definitely coming out to play. Um, so we got the new AI customer. Unfortunately, though, Neil, we didn't get a new cloud server provider customer, which mm -hmm. I, I was a little bit disappointed. Mm -hmm. But what we did see, Neil, is um, both Meta and Microsoft are expanding yep. how much workloads they're using. Uh, so Meta talked that they're using AMD GPUs now for... Um, recommendation systems as well outside of just inferencing on llama they're using it for recommendation workloads as well and some other things um and, uh, microsoft showcased that they were using it for a lot of inference workloads from from uh copilot um mm -hmm. they're also even using it for training so so that was good um with, oracle. with regards to old cosmos uh, oracle yes and oracle talking about kind of these set of scale uh clusters uh and these gigawatts um gigawatts uh power clusters so that was also pretty bullish and that they are expected to run the big cluster within the next two months uh right within the next two months so it, it kind of gave us the answer that the mi355 is shipping they mentioned it, ship, it started mm -hmm. shipping actually earlier this month and will be available quarter three by a lot of these cloud server providers. Uh, let me just kind of take a closer look at some of the other notes that I have, Neil. Um, and that Oracle, a lot of that Oracle mm -hmm. number okay. is at 27,000, which is, mm -hmm. is a bit less than the 33,000 or so that they committed, that they said before, but at 27 that are going to be live at first. That doesn't mean that the rest is mm -hmm. not coming up. So. Think that's an important it, yeah to mention. it might be might be a uh, uh you're saying it might be more of a just a delivery issue for that quarter opposed mm -hmm. to an actual changing of plans i could see that i also think neil um this conference was a big shot at asic solutions because throughout the whole conference they kept sh talking about how flexible workloads and a chip that's that's completely flexible on what's the next stage of ai is super crucial uh, so I do think um, this was a lot of shots at the ASIC space. So maybe some thoughts there for, for Broadcom and Marvell. Um, what else do we have here, Neo? Um, there were some benchmarks against the the GB two uh, the GB two hundred and the B two hundred. These are more for first party. I'd rather have seen the MI three hundred and fifty at that kind of benchmark that that came out the ML perf benchmark. Uh, that came out a few weeks ago. Obviously, I wouldn't want to do that just to kind of save the hype for now. Um, so I would take those benchmarks with 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 a grain of salt. But overall, it does seem like it is somewhat competitive in in in, in against the Blackwell architecture. Um, Neil, I think I have one more thing, maybe two more things before I shoot it your way before I lose train of thought. Um, for the MI three fifty, they actually showcase how CT system is helping them. They they they've built this. Uh, for the first time I've ever seen AMD really announce kind of like a rack server solution. Um, before they would just kind of give you the 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 the, the server itself or, or kind of that rack. Yeah, that's that rack. rack. Yeah. Yeah. Um, now it's a full server solution, uh, and it's gonna improve dramatically in the um, MI four hundred, and then I forget what they called it, and then they already announced the MI five hundred as well. Mm -hmm. um, so, so that's pretty good there. Uh, they showed the improvements in 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 Rockham, uh, the Rockham solution, and how other players are using it. I think overall, um, overall that that's a strong growth case, and it does seem like AMD is focusing a little bit more on the developers now, right? They have that AMD developer cloud, um, and and they're bringing uh, kind of the Rockham software solution to clients. Uh, so it wants to increase that ecosystem. I mean, this is something NVIDIA does a lot yep. to kind of continue to keep developers 
Um, I don't think this would push uh, developers away from NVIDIA, but it's a great move from there. The final thing is UA Link. Um, we did see some great numbers there compared to kind of the NVLink Fusion. Um, so, so um, again, a AMD came out to play. Uh, I'm happy the stock didn't dump um, dramatically. I mean, obviously, it's too early to tell. Um, some might say 1% or 2% might be a dump. Um, but I think for long-term investors, there is a lot of things to be excited about. I think MI350 is going to do amazing. I think MI400 is going to do amazing. And again, it, it, it's weird that I own both AMD and NVIDIA right now, but um, mm -hmm. I do believe this AI market is so massive that you can't have one winner. At the end of the day, though, um, again, I would not take anything out of NVIDIA from this presentation, but I will give a lot for AMD. And the market is that big that I can safely say stuff like that. All right, guys. So I hope you guys enjoyed that quick update. I will be doing a more in-depth analysis later on today. So take care, have a good day, and see you all next time.